In this video, we show you why we had to stop working on the first ceiling. We show you what else we demolished. And we show you the first exposed half-timbered wall. So, so let's, let's go! go. So, I'm a bit dusty, but we got a little bit done. Uh, last week I said that we were ready for the final step uh, of demolishing the ceiling. Well, that joke was on us, because that final step turns out to be multiple steps. In case you are wondering why we took down that first uh, plaster layer, instead of just ripping out the whole ceiling in one go, that's because that plaster layer with all the paint and all the uh, wallpaper on it is a useless layer. We cannot do, that's just waste. So we took it off and throw it out in the dumpster. But this layer actually, this, uh, all the clay and straw and um, part of the wood, uh, that's completely reusable. It might be 230 years old, but add some water to this and you have a wonderful building material again. So we want to uh, separate this from the first layer and actually uh, save it so that once we are in the, uh, in the phase of actually rebuilding this house, we'll have the, the basic material uh, to do that. So next step will be even more dusty and that will be getting all that clay and um, straw uh, off the ceiling. And then when we'll, that's when we will can really see how the condition of the beams is. So, let's continue to work. discovery tour of this, home, this room today. 
trying to figure out how it exactly was, is built, how all these walls are connecting, what is old and what is new. And we found out that, um, you can see that, oh, where's my finger? There, well, there. Those are actually the stacked stones of the outer wall. And we can't even see the supporting beam called the Schwelle uh, from this side. So that might be uh, behind those stones. Um, and because we can see that these boards here, that they run behind those stones. Then we have this corner over here. Let me see if I can film that. There, this is the wall to the kitchen. You can see that the ceiling paint actually runs through behind that wall and underneath that wall. There's this thin line that I uncovered and where you can see that all the plaster of the ceiling is running there. So that might be a later addition as well, but we don't know why. Okay, so we don't know why. This is the support beam at the front of the house on the outside wall. And as you can clearly see, at least on this side, it looks pretty damaged. And it goes into the corner here. And it doesn't look very good. And then you can see that meeting up in the corner here, it meets up with the stone wall, um, also an outer wall. We don't know those beams, those Schwelle beams are pretty thick and they can uh, have a little damage without it being constructionally unsafe. But we have no way of knowing how deep um, this goes and how big the problem is. But it does mean that we will stop deconstructing this room for now because we need to figure out if it's all still structurally safe. What are you doing, dear? Uh, satisfying my curiosity. I, uh, I had some time left and I just couldn't hold it in any longer. I wanted to know what kind of a wall was behind this because you see these cracks here? I could see little bits let of me, wood. Let me take a close up of here that. Here are the cracks going. This is, the, this is the other side of the chimney in that room and it cracked and I could see bits and pieces coming through of red and so and there was loose wallpaper so I just started pulling it to see what came out underneath. Eventually this all will have to go and we have to redo these walls completely but uh, yeah I just wanted to see what was behind here and once you start it's always kind of hard to stop. There's so many layers of color. So there's this red and then there's a green and underneath that is a very, very bright blue. And underneath that is more of a grayish thing. So there are numerous layers of paint and thin This is like, I don't know. I don't know if they plastered the walls and then painted them or that they actually had color in the plaster. I am actually thinking that partly it's this last bit. Look, we can just completely take it out and then this is a, this is a tougher layer. So that's probably the original plaster layer. Yeah, I think this is probably the original plaster layer that is um, on the um, on the half timbered wall. Okay. This is well, kind of fun. Okay. Carry on. Shall I make lunch? Yes, please, please, okay. please. On my way.
We found another bad beam, unfortunately. Um, this area here has been affected. Let me take you for a close-up. This part of the beam is basically pulp. However, it does feel kind of superficial. And that would be good news. But for now, the same as uh, with the ceiling. Uh, this has to be checked for safety and we can't continue working on it ourselves. This curtain has been working great. It has kept the dust out and I even think it's keeping some of the heat uh, upstairs. Glad that we did this. We spent the morning uh, doing that dusty work in that small room, tearing down the ceiling. But it is a glorious spring day. The sky is blue, the sun is shining, and we really wanted to do an outside job. We've decided that uh, we cannot spend more than a couple of hours inside working on those ceilings because it's a very tiring, very dusty, very dirty job. And to keep our spirits up, we're gonna be um, doing lots of outside little uh, jobs for the next time, um, as long as the weather permits. We'll try to fit in as many outside uh, work as we can. And as we were walking around the property with a cup of coffee and looking at all the things that need to be done, I peeped inside that old chicken coop. That's in sort of a built on to the big barn. Um, we have been wanting to tear it down for quite some time now, but we know that at least one part of the roof needs to be taken down extra carefully. Um, so we haven't started it yet and I was peeking through that broken glass and I saw all the rubble lying on the floor inside the chicken coop and I said well if we just take out this front part we can start clearing it. Why don't we just do that today? And then Lex's eyes lit up and said yeah let's do that. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to start our first day of working on the chicken coop. We have uh, lots of plans for this little corner of the garden. And one day it's going to be beautiful, but that's a long day off. But first, let's just start by clearing it out and um, so that we can actually see what we're working with.
So now we've demolished the end, the, uh, the window and the frame beneath the window. We have clear access to the old chicken shed. And now we can clearly see that um, the ch chicken shed had a, a halfway ceiling. So it was also a bit lowered and uh, half of that ceiling has collapsed completely. I already um, felt some of the wood that was lying on the floor and it was completely pulverized. So these beams are very suspect and we, sh we have to be careful uh, when demolishing this because that can collapse at any time as well.